on if the college playoffs were to expand to 12 to to 12 teams, we would have a matchup of Michigan State versus Michigan, possibly in round two. So I'm going to propose this question for you. Would you rather lose a close game to your arch rival in the college football playoff or get blown out by Alabama? Damn. Because I always choose a blowout because at least in a blowout, I never had a chance. But the fact that it's to Alabama, like, I mean, those guys have babies with their sisters and stuff. Like, I don't want... Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Sorry. Sorry. I forgot <laughs> to throw that out there. Um, I'd rather lose a, a, a close game to my arch rival in the playoffs because at least, you know, you're losing to your arch rival. You got the experience. You know, it, and it was probably a fun experience all the way to the final buzzer. You know what I mean? Right. You're in it. You're intense. Everything's fun. The cr- crowd is loud. All of that stuff. You know, it, it's a different atmosphere when you're in a game in the college football playoffs, even against a team like freaking Alabama, where you're you're getting blown out and all of a sudden the stadium's silent and there's no noise for like a, a quarter and a half. Other than you sitting down talking about your guys like, God, this sucks. What are we going to do when we get back? You know what I mean? Like, you know, looking, picking out girls in the crowd. What are we doing after the game? You know what I mean? But I, I just, I'd much rather, um, anytime you, I, I think anytime you add in a loss to Alabama, I would always pick the other answer. So, well, and see, this is why I am picking the loss to Alabama. Why? Because everybody knows who Alabama is. So this is the reason why I am picking to lose to Alabama by like 34, 40, 40, 40 points, whatever it is. Just, just because when you lose to an arch rival, usually it is a interstate rival, right? Or the Ohio State versus versus Michigan, right? It it if it, it a loss to your rival affects you beyond that game. It affects you in recruiting. It affects you in uh, you know each and every other sport just because that loss is hanging over your head. Like hey, we knocked yeah. you out, so therefore your rival owns you for the next two hundred and sixty some days. Right, least when you lose to Alabama, there are millions of eyes on your program. So let's say you are Cincinnati right now playing Alabama and you get blown out. Even though you get blown out, there are tens of 20 million eyes on your team. People may not even know Cincinnati had a football team. Let's just be honest. And now they're on TV versus Alabama. Yes, they got blown out, but that might bring in some five-star recruits just because you're like, man, I remember seeing those guys play Alabama. I want to do the the same. Does it change your opinion if you're Michigan State and you beat Michigan by three touchdowns earlier in the season? Well, so so you beat Michigan in the regular season by three touchdowns, but then Michigan comes back and beats you, beats you by two in the playoffs. No, that hurts, man. That puts a sour taste in my mouth, and I know that's going to hurt, hurt, hurt the recruiting aspect just because like what is Michigan going to recruit you with like hey do you want to lose to the Spartans or do you want to beat the Spartans and like when the time and that matters you know like it just it, it always feels better or you could use like for a guy like me if you're if you're recruiting that type that type of minded person where you say hey do you want to come be that one piece that we were missing that can go beat Michigan and go win a national title or do you want to go to Michigan and maybe sit or maybe play behind somebody who's already won a national title? I, 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 mean, you can I, use I, I want to win a national Yeah, I mean, I see. I always I want, want to win beat the title. big dogs. Like, I, I always want to beat the big dogs. Like, even in men's softball, like, I mean, we play. 